Hi. Um, today's nails are going to be cloud nails. Does everyone like cloud nails? I love cloud nails. Our Karen done some cloud nails a little while ago. Oh, look, coat hanger. That's where I hang my clothes because I can't use my tumble dryer anymore because I refuse to pay all that money for the electric. So I have clothes hung up everywhere. Needs must. Anyway, um, today's nails are going to be cloud nails. Now, Ka yeah, Karen from Nail Sugar done some a little while ago, and I just love them. And I've done them before, but we're going to do them again. Because last night I saw on Instagram, I think the lady's name was Nails by Jen or Nail Art by Jen, something like that. Um, I'll find the thingy and put it here. There. Um, so you can go and check her out because her nails are quite lovely. And um, yeah, I am going to show you how mine turn out. They weren't as good. Um, but I will I'm gonna try and explain why. So where I go wrong, you don't have to. <laughs> I know I'm too kind. Stop it. <laughs> anyway, let's get into the video. I started off with the wave. I've done the wave. I sometimes I forget the wave, and I'm like, how did you forget the wave? That's your that's what you do. You start the video with a little hand wave, and I forgot. But this time I remembered, which is brilliant. So I've got my Madame Glam gel polishes, and I'm using some of the colours in the Easter egg box. So I've got Rebirth, Spring Bloom, Lily Scent, and Euphoria. I will start doing some colour some nails with with using other colours because I feel like I've, I don't want people to that haven't been able to get the Easter egg box to be upset because I've been using these colours a lot so I'm going to try and use some other colours um March is going to be a month I'm really excited about March and you will see why tomorrow <laughs> it's only going to get better baby I am yeah I'm just going to hold in my excitement for now <laughs> so for these nails you're going to want to apply one coat of each color to a nail tip cure it in the lamp for 30 seconds i'm using the madam glam elio lamp um, and then i will go ahead and i will apply my second coat and then cure once more for 30 seconds on top of that we're going to use the super cat eye gel now the one that oh and you need a magnet i keep calling this thing a magnetic tool it's just a magnet nats <laughs> it's just a magnet that's all it is um yeah so i think I think the, the one that I'm gonna have to look it up right now because it's gonna bother, bother me. I think it's Nail Art by Jen. Um, the one that she used, Nail Art by Jen. Let me just have a look. Oh, yes, I think it is. Yes, Nail Art by Jen. Because I, I was thinking, is it Nails by Jen? It's Nail Art by Jen. Have a look on her Instagram. She's got some lovely nails on there. Um, I think the cat eye gel she used. I don't know if it was, I don't know. She worked it better than I did this. Uh, hers and uh, right, she done hers. She pushed hers towards the free edge, which made it look lovely. Whereas I just done what I usually do. I rub the magnet down each side and then twiddle it a bit at the bottom. But she done it so that you could see some of the gel polish color underneath and hers just yeah chef's kiss chef's kiss hers were like the best the bestest um but i did enjoy doing these however i didn't make the most of utilizing the color underneath i think that's the right vocabulary because my english is rubbish uh so yeah so look you can see here i'm just going over top if you get to a point where you twiddle about with your pigment with your magnet and you don't like it you can just run the brush over the top of the gel polish and it kind of like resets the whole thing so you can just start again you do slightly see the color underneath it's not like you don't totally see the color underneath it's just that it's not as visible as jen's but i really like jen's i felt very inspired by jen's and yeah and also karen had done them ages ago not ages ago i think it was around christmas time oh this is angel tears glitter um it's really nice confetti sorry look how mirrory it is it's so sparkly mirrory you can get it from nail sugar you can save 10 percent using my code natmug10 you're going to need the madam glam application brush and i've got a little bit of base coat on my palette i'm sorry if you can hear my what's that thing that spins the washing machine uh, my washing machine's on a spin it's on a spin cycle it's nearly finished so it's really noisy <laughs> so what i'm going to do is i'm taking some of the base coat and then i'm going to run some of the base coat with the confetti over the nails and we're just going to end up with a very 
light sprinkling of the confetti over the nail and it's going to look all right. It didn't, I, I, I wasn't too clean on it. I didn't, I wasn't too happy with how it turned out to be, to be truthful. But yeah, it was still all right. They weren't that bad that I thought I'm never going to put them on YouTube, but you can learn from my mistakes. I'm totally happy for everyone to learn from my mistakes. <laughs> to flatten out the nail a little bit, I'm going to go over with a coat of base coat, a layer of base coat, just to smooth it. And then I'm using the petal brush and the white gel paint. The petal brush is something I haven't really used, but I'm going to use it to create some cludes. And the clouds are going to go, I'm just going to do like a couple of clouds on each nail. And you kind of just pat the gel paint on. And then using the dotting tool, oh, pardon me, you can take a couple of dops, 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 dollops, dops, dollops, dobs. They're just dots, and I have to tell myself, Nats, they're just dots. You're going to use a detailer brush to pull the colour out from the centre of the dot to make a star. Now, when I do stars, I like my up and down line to be longer than my left and right line, but you can do whatever you want. There's no rules. You just do you. So there we go. And then I'll take the dotting tool again, and I'll just make some tiny little dots. There we go. And they're like little stars behind the big star. So that's going to go in the lamp for 60 seconds because that's a gel paint. I'm going to do the same thing on one nail. And then, yeah, because look, I've got velvet matte and I've got no white top. I thought I would do two nails with no white top coat. So make them glossy. And then, yeah, that we'll just, we'll do this bit first. So I'm going to go over the top of this. Now, with the gel paint, they don't actually have a tacky layer so you can work on top of your already top coated nail if you want to but for the first nails i do the gel paint design first and then these nails i thought i'd experiment top coating them with velvet matte top coat i love velvet matte top coat so much normally eight and a half nine times out of ten i would choose velvet matte over glossy however look I don't think I liked these matte. Now, over, I was going to do these differently. Instead of, I, I, look, I, I shiny top coated them afterwards because I didn't, I wasn't too keen on the matte. Um, but I, because the gel paint doesn't have a tacky layer, I can work my design on top of the no wipe top coat. Now, I did learn something. I don't know the science behind it, but you do need to, even if you are using a no wipe top coat without a tacky layer you still need to cleanse the 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 no wipe top coat afterwards and get your client to wash their hand i will link the article down below so you can go and check out the information but i just think it's very important to spread awareness um, and also this is how i clean my brush so the petal brush i'm going to pull out the excess product between a, 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 a lymph-free wipe on a lymph-free wipe and then i've got base coat on my palette there and i'm just going to do little look can you see little tiny brush strokes <clears throat> through the base coat and then you'll see that that product is can you see it's pulling towards the end of the brush so i'm going to squidge off that excess product between my wipe again turn the brush around and then run it through the other half of the, the clean base coat and then as you do that it's going to pull out the rest of that gel paint can you see and then you just squidge that between a lymph-free wipe and then that is your brush sorted. Just pop your lid back on, keep it away from your LED light and that's done. You can use alcohol, but that will just, that will dry out your brush. Um, sometimes I do do that, but generally you should use a base coat to clean your, yeah. Anyway, this is the nails finished. Let me know what you think. I don't know that I like them that much. Ah! unfortunately but there we go i hope you liked this video if you did please leave a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing it's completely free discount codes on websites below god bless love you all and i will see you in the next one love you bye